Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are making ozoni, a traditional Japanese soup often enjoyed during New Year. This delightful dish combines mochi, which is the rice cakes, with a savory broth and various ingredients for a heartwarming experience. So, let's get cooking! Please note that there might be some background noise due to family gathering during the new year. Start by preparing the fresh toppings. Cut the mitsuba into 2cm pieces and finely shred the yuzu peel. Peel the daikon radish and carrot, slicing them into thin ginkgo leaf shapes and thin round respectively. Remove the kamaboko from its bowl. Kamaboko is Japanese fish cake, typically made from pureed white fish, shaped into distinctive half moon form on a wooden board and steamed until firm. It's known for its smooth texture and mild flavor, often used as a garnish or ingredient in soups and other Japanese dishes. Slice kamaboko thinly. Cut the chicken thin into 2 cm cubes. In a pot, combine water, white dashi, soy sauce, and chicken. Heat over medium and once boiling, skim off any form and continue cooking for 3 more minutes. Add daikon radish, carrot, and kamaboko. Cook until the chicken, daikon, and carrot are done. Place mochi on a tray lined with aluminum foil and toast in an oven toaster until golden brown about 5 minutes. Place the mochi in bowls, pour the soup over it, and top with mitsuba and yuzu peel. Your ozoni is ready! Enjoy this dish with traditional New Year's oseji. The fragrance of yuzu and rich broth combined with the softened mochi makes it dish too good to have only once a year. Let's look over what we used today. Thank you for joining us in making this special ozoni. We hope you enjoy this classic New Year's dish as much as we do. It's a perfect example of how simple ingredients can create a heartwarming and delicious meal. Don't forget to try it with osechi for the full New Year's experience. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumb up, share, and subscribe for more authentic Japanese recipes. Stay tuned for more cooking, fun, and see you next time. Bye bye!